Hey, how's it going? Great, mate. You win. You win prize for best room. Do you like it? I have, I have balloons that you can't see. Just that it, <laughs> I got it already. Um, but you know, I only got four minutes. I want to dig into this here. Um, I was super curious watching it. I grew up with this, you know, property as so many people did. Um, how did you all decide which uh, character stories you wanted to tell in this in this first go round? Uh, I mean, I guess it was the it, it, it was the classic set. Um, Kung Lao needed to be brought into that. Um, and it was really just, it was a pretty decided pretty early, you know, who they were, who they were going to be. And then it really became a question of sort of balancing and making sure that the, each character sort of got their moment and got their time to shine really. Um, and that was really the, the, the trick of it. Um, so that, we, you know, it's a, a balancing act of bringing bringing audiences in and understanding the world, and then and then allowing each of these characters to arrive and sort of have their moment. So it was pretty early. It was baked in pretty early who those who those characters were going to be. Yeah, and this has been sort of like a this the first item I saw about this just from googling was in like 2016, which is like six trillion years ago. So this has been like a a long sort of five year process at least. What's been sort of like the most satisfying part for you? Uh, I think, well, there's a few satisfying moments along the way. Mm. Obviously when you get green lit, that's pretty satisfying. Um, and then, you know, you're making it. Um, I think that I find the pre-production going into production and an immensely satisfying, um, part of the process because that's where I, you know, we, we would, we have the, we were doing all the research and design and development on all the characters and the costumes and, and I love that part of it. I love the bringing it together and making it feel real and the manifestation of it. Okay, this is what it's going to be. Mm. So that was an immensely satisfying part of the process. And then obviously the shooting part is, is a joy. I love that. Um, it was pretty satisfying when the trailer came out, I've got to say, and people mm. sort of responded to the things that we all thought, well, I think this is right. And then... Um, you know, to get that connection was was very very satisfying, and I I'm really thrilled. So um, that was a nice one. Yeah, yeah. I remember when that trailer dropped. I got I got a lot of texts. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. it really slapped people in the face. So that's congrats to y'all. Yeah, and I also saw that you introduced the team that made that trailer. I thought that was super cool that you did that on Instagram. That you like highlighted the people who, you know, had a yeah. role in that. So. Well, it's a team sport, and um, there's an, an enormous amount of incredibly talented people worked on this film. And my job as director is just to hire smart people, get out of their way, and then they make me look good. So, um, yeah. it, um, yeah, amazing people on this film. It's a great crew. Yeah, that's amazing. I um, also noticed that you know when there's a big sort of blockbuster with like a lot of visual effects, sometimes you lose characters. But I, you know, sort of character development and interaction, but. I thought that everybody had like really great chemistry. It was very noticeable, especially the Sonia Kano dynamic. Yeah, great. Yeah, how did you sort of build that up as a director? Well, it, it, it was just sort of constantly putting cam uh, character first and really thinking about, I really care, I really want to just stay, like even where the camera goes, it's a matter of staying with the characters and not ever getting wildly all over the place and just staying really in there with them just keeping all that very uncomplicated. And what ends up happening from that, my, my logic on there is that the, then the characters become the thing and then they build, they create it. So th they are the most important thing in the whole film. So just to stay with them, even within the fights, yeah, there's some pretty wild shots and camera moves, but ultimately it's pretty uncomplicated. And it was sort of designed that way to be very kind of simple, but, um, just allowing the, the characters to be front and center. And then you don't end up with this kind of, it, also you just construct shots so that they, they are hitting visually, the telling the story even within a frame. Okay, you know, Scorpion's here and Sub-Zero's here and what's that saying? And it's, so it's sort of constantly building and con considering that as we, as we went through was, so, I mean, that's part of the joy of filmmaking. Yeah, that's, these are things I don't think about. So that's beautiful to hear. <laughs>
listen. Okay, so I did the nails to match. Yes, Quinn. And, I, and this is this is dangerous, but I got the shoes to match too. Oh, dude, you uh, that is excellent too. You got to you got to oh, rise man. to the occasion. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I am legit jealous. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. It is a competition, so. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, one of the best parts of this film is y'all's chemistry, right? Like, there's so much great banter between the two of you. I talked to Simon; he had so many great things to say about y'all. How did you sort of build the chemistry between the two of you? Well, we knew each other. Uh, you know, Jess and I are both Australian, and and yeah. you know, the industry in Australia is relatively small um, compared to the states. And uh, Jess and I, I, I've got a few years on Jess, but we're you know we're of the same era uh, of actor, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So. We, uh, we, 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 you know, came up together, you know, gigging in Australia. So we, we knew each other. We we're both living in the States. So it was just um, a happy accident that we got to cast as Kano and Sonia Blade, who, who have one of the longest standing relationships in the game. So, I mean, that was, we had a bit of a head start on that for sure. And it was just fun. We just had a lot of fun, uh, you know, bickering and, uh, and building that um, antagonistic relationship. Yeah. Wait, did you all know that you were both going out for the roles or not? Nah? No. Wow. No. Uh, I just I remember when I um when I I actually almost think I Josh I don't know if I told you this but I think I had found out before you that you had the role. <laughs> yeah, I, I I must have been one of the last people to know because, because it was. I, I, yeah. I I got cast fairly like in like maybe third out of the mm. cast and. I remember him saying, you know, and it's really important that you and Kano have a really good um, rapport. And he goes, I think, do you know the guy playing Kano? And I said, well, who is it? And he said, Josh. And I don't think you'd been told yet or who they were going to offer it to. And I was like, yeah, of course I know Josh. Oh, thank That's God. Amazing. Thank God I was nice to you all those years. <laughs> you know, this is, thank God. Because that would have been the moment. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. He's the worst. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. That's like yeah. a good life lesson, you know? It um, is, though, by the way. That is actually a good life lesson in any industry. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. Um, Jessica, I saw uh, that you were posting fan art recently yeah. on Instagram. And I was, I was feeling bad because I know there's no like cons or anything going on. Have you all been able to interact with fans at all prior to this? Oh, yeah. I mean, they've been unbelievably supportive. It's yeah. unreal. Um, on Twitter, on Instagram, people are just so excited for this movie. And it's been cool because we were in such a bubble really when we made it. And then, you know, we went into another COVID bubble where you're having so little contact with people on the out in the outside world. And then all of a sudden this, this trailer dropped and just this influx of excitement. And I, I you know, it really put it in pers into perspective how excited people are for this movie. And it made me really excited. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm really bummed that we we you know we don't have those cons on at the moment. It, I I hope obviously the world opens back up again uh, in the near future and we can do that for the simple reason that I've never really been a part of a film that has such a fan base, right? It, and right. It'd be such a shame to miss out on meeting that because you know most actors never get a chance to to do a film like this, and right. and the fans are the reason a film like this is special. So it's right. you know I hope we get a chance to you know to I'd press the flesh sometime. Yeah. It'd be great. Mm -hmm. We'll yeah, be that'd be super sick. I, I have to wrap up, but I just, I had so many memories. Like my dad, I remember I bought the, I wanted the game, right? But mm -hmm. I wasn't allowed to get it or something. And then my dad surprising me with Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's awesome. And I, and I just like one of my fondest memories. So it's super that's cool that you're all a part of this. And congrats. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you, John. Thank you.